Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how to get data from a website. If it already has a data layer, the data layer is very complex and it's kind of nested and you have to kind of go searching for it. How can you get the data that you want and then bring it into Google Tag Manager? And then after that, how can you use it in a GA4 event? This is a dealership website here. Now they do have a data layer in place, but at the time when I jumped into this particular website, it wasn't being utilized in GA4. So let's right click here. So I'm just right clicking on the, the page here. I'm gonna to go to inspect. And if you go to the console and type in data layer, as I said, it already has one, but you can see how gigantic it is here. So what we can do is browse around. What I want to get are the details about the car here. Exterior color, interior color, odometer. All of these things are in the data layer. We just have to figure out how to grab them. So let's see if we can find out. So data layer, we'll say array value zero. Okay, let's see zero. So in zero, this is sort of like the first root of the array. Well, here's, here's a vehicles area. So then you can type in, you can, you can press the up arrow key and then it brings you back here and you can say dot vehicles. So I just typed in V, this brings me up a hint. And then it brings me up another vehicles array, which sits at the top level. So dot vehicles. And then you can see here, you can expand vehicles. And here's where I have all the various information about the vehicle. For example, how about doors? So let's, let's press the up again, up arrow again. And then, so dot vehicles, dot doors. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, how do you do that? So I think because this is at zero again, right? So this is, in its, you have to, and it's, and it's inside, uh, it's inside vehicles, you have to call zero again. So you gotta go like this, zero. Yep, and then you gotta go dot doors. And you can see, then it pulls four door. Now let's grab this. And um, yeah, let's grab this. I'm gonna put it here so you can see. So it looks like that and that will pull it from this particular website. So this is how you kind of traverse this particular data layer. For your website, it will look different, but have a look at GTM. So this is the GTM for that website. And I've got here a GA4, um, where is it, Ecom data. Now I'm firing a GA4 event on the exact measurement ID and I'm passing view item. So this is the enhanced e-commerce event called view item, because they are viewing an item. It's a car in this case, but instead of passing details that are the details that are expected in enhanced e-commerce, I'm passing the details about the car. So here's doors. So you can see for doors, I'm passing event name of door, and then I've made a data layer variable for doors. Let's go look at that data layer variable. Here it is here. So remember I said it looked like this. This is how you pull it from the website, data layer zero. So at the top area of the data layer and then inside the top area, we're gonna go into vehicles, but then vehicles has a zero. So we'll, we'll grab it like this. But you can't do this in GTM. It needs to, you need to turn these brackets into dots. Once you turn it into dots, that's how GTM can pull the value of sorry, it's doors of doors, and then echo it wherever you need to. Okay. If we do a preview, you can see it in action. Oops, preview. <clears throat> Let's go here to the preview mode. So it's it's loaded on this car page. And you can see here, I'm firing it 
on, on a page view. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Yeah. And then here, so here it is, Ecom data. And you can see here, it's firing these events on view item. So doors, four door, body style sedan. And you can see it's all contained within that, um, within that vehicle array. So I'm, I'm grabbing it in the exact same way as I grabbed this one, right? So, you know, dot doors, I could say dot make Acura dot, you know, so it's all the same. Your website will be different, like I said, but this is an example of how you grab things from a very complex data layer and then use it in GTM as a variable. So like I said, brackets don't work if you're echoing a data layer and you don't say data layer here, you just sort of take it from the, the zero is a given. So you're just taking it like this vehicles dot zero dot engine size, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. So that's a good learning experience. Uh, the next thing is we also covered this here. So view item can be anything. You don't need to use the enhanced e-commerce automatic variables. If you're doing this though, you need to go into GA4 and then mark things as a custom definition, or sorry, a custom dimension. So for example, um, in GA4, it looks like, it looks like this. So because these are custom events, you go to admin, once they're in the system, you go to custom definitions, then go to create custom dimensions, grab the event parameter that came into the system and then give it a name. So the scope is event in this case, because these are not automatically collected events, you have to set them up in here and then mark them as a custom, a custom dimension. So the dimension is an event. You see here, this is what I've done. So there's doors, the event is doors, Right, because it's coming into the system. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, enjoy. Hopefully, that was helpful.